What you saw yesterday was the president. He held his first address to the nation in the midst of all of this unrest, touting himself as a law and order leader. He threatened to deploy the military if local leaders don't put an end to the looting and other violence. While he was talking about being an ally to the protesters, police used gas and flash grenades to clear away peaceful protesters that were a stone's throw away. All so the president could do this. He could walk over to St. John's Episcopal Church, okay, and hold a Bible in this weird way. That included at least one priest who had to actually run from the church's patio because no one was informed this was happening. The president then stood again, as I said, in front of St. John's Church, which has been there since 1815, and every president since Madison has worshipped there. It has been damaged the uh, day before in a fire. As you see, he held up the Bible for the cameras, but the Episcopal bishop was not pleased with the president. Here's what she said about his photo op on the Today Show. And it did not address the grievous wounds that that we are dealing with and the um, and the agony of our country. And so it was an abuse of the spiritual tools and symbols of our tradition and of our sacred space. My favorite part was someone said, excuse me, is that your Bible, sir? And he said, it's a Bible. I think that says a lot. Lindsay, my question for you uh, real quick is, how can you be a law and order president when we saw law and order, in my opinion, executing a man in broad daylight? How do those two go together? I don't know. The only thing I would like have liked President Trump to say is that black lives matter. I think that's what we would need to hear from somebody leading our country. Yeah, there's a thing to be in, in a consoler in chief. Erica, what do you wish Trump had said, or President Trump, excuse me? I don't, I've... Yeah. <laughs> what is it? I know, I know. And you know what so George Will, the conservative, said today in a column? Don't expect anything else, because it's just going to keep happening, and the worst is yet to come. And I mean this, and I'm not saying this as a Republican or a Democrat, but he is a chaos president, and he likes chaos. And what we saw with flashbangs echoing around him as he said he's going to be a law and order president as he dispersed unlawfully a peaceful protest was not a law and order president in my mind. There's the Black Hawk helicopter. It looks like we're in Kabul. This is, I believe, in Washington, D.C., my hometown. Um, we also saw people, uh, protesters and press being hit in the face with gas masks, and it looked a lot like a war zone. It was Seattle.